Know Thy Heritage, or KTH, is a leadership program for Palestinians in the diaspora created by the Holy Land Christian Ecumenical Foundation. Every year, a group of Palestinians from all around the world have the opportunity to visit Palestine with this program. This year's group traveled all around historic Palestine from the 12th to the 30th of June. They just left Palestine to go back to their countries, taking with them many messages, stories and hopes after two weeks traveling in their homeland. This program was created by Mr. Rateb Rabia, the head of Holy Land Christian Ecumenical Foundation, and aimed to connect the Palestinian expatriates to their roots, culture and land. The uniqueness about this uh, program as a whole, this is the only program where connect uh, Palestinian diaspora youth from, from all over the world. And they connect and they work together even after they go back. Now they are ready to be ambassadors for Palestine and ambassadors for peace. These young men and women, now they know what to do. They are going to be influential in their respective countries. And the uniqueness of it, if the government approved this as national program, and already we have the private sector. Because this is a national program, then everybody can pitch in and become one program for, for, for all. The CEO of Rich Company talked about the positive impact this program will have for Palestine and how the youth can become important participants in building the future of Palestine. We started to achieve and realize the uh, key objectives uh, behind uh, the whole initiative, mainly um, uh, convince people to come to Palestine. They have a duty to come in and contribute to um, representing Palestine and, and blend with their heritage and uh, communicate uh, uh, the key message of, uh, you know, every Palestinian uh, carries. The general director of the Bank of Palestine also thinks this program will be very beneficial for Palestine in many different ways. I think it's, uh, it's a great benefit to Palestine and to the people in Palestine, to the economy. Uh, we see a great uh, progress each year. More participants, uh, better exchanges, more follow-up, um, real uh, uh, success stories of, uh, of, you know, of things on the ground happening. And I am positive that it will grow uh, exponentially. Rami Hamdallah, the Palestinian Prime Minister, said that these type of programs are helping Palestine, turning the Palestinians in the diaspora into real ambassadors of the Palestinian cause. He added that the government is going to support, develop and extend this program to reach more Palestinians. I think it's good for us to have these Palestinians from the diaspora to come over here to see our suffering and to act as ambassadors in all countries in which they live. So to reflect what is happening here in their countries. Actually, such a program is uh, very beneficial for both sides, uh, for us and for our diaspora. And indeed, actually, this is one of our major goals that the government to adapt such a program. This year's group had 40 members, Christians and Muslims from many different countries and backgrounds. All the participants seemed very satisfied with their experience and everything they had learned during the two weeks they were in Palestine. Anna Giselle Kafie, originally from Ramallah, was born in Honduras and is currently living in Italy. She visited her family for the first time with the KTH program. I had a different perception. And so, first of all, I'm seeing something that I, had not, I was not expecting, that I, I, I had no idea I was going to be like this. So a change would be researching more, informing myself more, getting more education on myself learning Arabic. We're not just having a little taste of everything in Palestine, but we're being introduced to to such important people. This program gives you a taste of everything. This program is, I'm so grateful I, I am here. Luvna Turishman, originally from Jerusalem, was born and raised in Guatemala. Know Thy Heritage was the opportunity for me to go experience Palestine at first hand and make this idea a reality, see the real political situation, the real cultural situation. I think that it's important for all of us to go back home and talk about it, write about it, 
uh, make videos about it. Uh, I don't know, anything you can do to inform people, just converse about it, anything. The program in its fourth year confirmed that it is growing and developing, becoming more and more influential. The participants are now ready to become ambassadors and advocates for Palestine and to start working in their countries for their homeland.